Hello there, in this video what I'm going to do is show you how to change the pointer on your cursor and change your mouse settings generally in Windows 10 um, and this works in Windows 11 as well. Before I do continue, please like, subscribe and share. So I've got my Windows 10 device opened up here and I want to access the mouse settings in Windows 10 and, and this works in Windows 11 too. At the bottom in the magnifying glass here, do a search for mouse. So I'm doing a search for mouse here like this and you will find an option here which is your best match which says uh, mouse settings. So I'm going to click on mouse settings and it will take you to your settings page and it will be focusing on the mouse um, section of your settings. So at the top here you can change or select your primary button so I've got it at the moment my left button is my primary mouse button but you can change that to your right button as well um, in case you are left-handed or right-handed you can change that you can change your cursor speed here with this um, the toggle here move it to the right to change it to, to make it quicker and move it across to the left to, to make it um, slower there so you can tell already uh, my cursor is moving slowly but I'm going to go back to 10 here here the roll the mouse wheel to scroll so in the middle if you've got a wheel, mouse wheel um, you can um, obviously you use that to scroll up and down or whatever um, here you can scroll multiple lines at a time or one screen at a time here and here you can choose with this toggle here move it to the right to toggle how many lines to scroll each time and here you can of also enable or disable the, the scrolling of the inactive windows when you hover over them so you can change or customize that option there as well i had a question from one of my um, viewers or subscribers about changing the actual pointer um, changing the type of pointer that you've got so i'm going to show that in a second um, whilst we're watching this video and um, before i do continue ensure you've liked this video press on that subscribe button as well here on the right side you've got the related settings option so you've got two options here you've got adjust mouse and cursor size but you've also got additional mouse options here if I click on the first one um, you can go in and change the mouse pointer options here so you can change the size of your pointer with this toggle here so you can see the pointer is getting bigger and bigger uh, I'm going to go, go back to the original size there. You can also change the color of your pointer here. At the moment, I've got it as white, but you can change it so it's um, the color is changed to black, or you can have it as inverted here, or you can also have or choose your custom colors from this color palette here. So you can choose for it to be green, yellow, orange, so on and so forth here. Below that, you can pick your own custom color. So if I click on that, I can choose from this color palette which color I want and then one, once I'm happy with my color click on done and it will add that color to the color palette here as well and then below if you've got a touch screen you can change the touch screen options here at the bottom but I'm going to go back and change it back to my default color white here now that second option if I go back to the right side related setting the additional mouse settings option this is where I had the question Oh, sorry additional mouse settings if I click on additional mouse options here this is where I got the question and here you can see a pop-up box will appear now from this pop-up box there's two options you can choose from actually um, you can either click go into pointers here and you can see um, the first option here is the scheme of your pointer or the cursor if I click on the drop down here you can change it and you can see that the, the, the cursors are changing as as you change um, the options from the drop down so you can select your own um, settings there so to speak and to see which one you like in terms of the schema for your cursors but also here in this second drop down you've got options as well so at the moment the normal select you've got this cursor option here but if I highlight that and um, I go down to browse here <clears throat> I can choose um, what my default cursor I want the default cursor to be now some of you have asked for a change in that to say make it into a circle absolutely you can choose the circle one here um, if, if you want to um, that is so you can choose that one that one or if you've got another preference 
um, you can choose a different preference here um, but let's choose a different one you got lots of options here to choose from by the way um, so it's entirely up to you up to you which one you want to go for and choose so oh, I've chosen this one now um, it will only change if I click on apply so if I click on apply you can see now my cursor my pointer has changed so let, let me go back to browse you can also use the default click on use default here and it'll go back to using that arrow there click on apply and it will go back to to that um, specific default one but if I go to browse choose a different one let's choose this one here I click on open and click on apply it will now use a circle as my pointer there so that's like the waiting hourglass you know um, when you're loading up pages I guess so it might not be appropriate to use that one I guess uh, but you can certainly check it out um, using uh, whichever one you want um, so let me click on cancel go to the default option so I'm back to where I begin with apply there you go you can also enable the pointer shadow so if I click on that click on apply and you'll notice there's a bit of a shadow now that's been added to my pointer if that helps you um, to see that pointer let me click on let me um, unselect that click on apply and it will go back to normal now there's no shadow over my pointer um, the other thing I wanted to show you is the pointer options here um, so you can also change the speed of your pointer to make it faster move it to the right um, to make it slower move it to the left you can disable the enhanced pointer position here but also here at the bottom <clears throat> actually let me go to um, you, you can um, display pointer trails you can enable that so if I click on apply you can see there's a trail now with my a cursor uh, it's a bit annoying actually let me um, disable that but here um, show location of pointer when I press the control key this is a pretty nifty one if I enable that click on apply um, what I can do now if I click on my control button on my keyboard a little circle will appear showing me where my cursor is located on my screen so that's a really nifty one just in case you're working on double screen you need to find out where your cursor is on that screen you can find it there so let me disable that click on apply and go back to normal so that's just a very quick and easy video showing you how to change the mouse settings the cursor and the pointer settings in in my uh, windows 10 and this similar method applies in windows 11 as well and i hope you've enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share